Well, hello everyone. You hear talk about right here. I talk about typical credit cards right here, and uh, I'm sure most of us have had our experience with uh, understanding about how a credit card works. And uh, you know, as you know, that uh, you know, yeah, yeah. Other than uh, learning the basics about how a library card works, but like with the credit card, though, uh, that a credit card, you know, as you know, that I'm like, oh yeah, you know, the difference between a credit card and a gift card, though, that. Uh, you have money that uh, that uh, you wind up, you know, paying back later on, and it can also be about you know interest paid, uh, and uh, you know, so it sure seems that way that uh, that whenever it comes to understanding about credit cards, though, and uh, so let's just say that if we were to call this right here, this number right here, a uh, fifty thousand five hundred right here, and uh, you likely want to know too that which number seems to be bigger. Then uh, compared to, I'm um, like, uh, yeah, for what's in the thousands and what's within in the hundreds right here. And uh, the way we think about that, though, is like uh, we say is that, uh, you know, yeah, a typical credit card. That uh, a credit card uh, is also another way of stating to word it. Uh, it's like uh, another, you know, like, yeah, any sorts of saving stocks or investments or anything like that. But it sure seems that way that uh, when we think about a credit card, though, that uh, yeah, that um, is that, are we uh, necessarily thinking about to where that uh, you know that's money that's soon to be ours, but then we just gotta spend it properly, or can we also look at is to where that no, that uh, yeah, that money right there is waiting to be used, you know, waiting to be spent, or if anything, you just gotta read the terms and use and conditions on the credit card. So a lot of times, you'll likely want to too. That, uh, you know, what is the typical tax code whenever it comes to understanding a credit card? And uh, we're probably thinking, too, is to where, yeah, if we were to actually do the studies about the credit card right here, and at 102, that, uh, that you know, three months or so of, uh, of uh, like, uh, you want, I'm like, yeah, you know, three months, that's about 90 days right there. And uh, you want to know, too, that, um, that if we were to actually do the calculations right here, that uh, that three months that if you're good on payments for three months in a row and let's just say that if you're willing to uh, agree upon it, the terms of service on that credit card, then chances are that then it's like yeah you know talk about for to get the clients and all that but but let's just say that um, on average though that if we're talking about between bigger and smaller numbers right here, so let's just say on average though that if you're going to have a credit card and let's just say at one point. That you were approved up about maybe a two hundred dollar credit, right? But let's just say maybe within maybe three months or maybe six months, that the, you were maybe approved at six hundred dollars, and maybe within it three years, uh, that the time period that uh, maybe that uh, you are approved between fifteen to two thousand dollars, and uh, like uh, people say is to where that you know, talk about, you know, money differences though, but you know still that uh, talk about for yeah for interest especially. So if we were to take that same number and um, and uh, talk it about whenever it comes to uh, understanding the math facts, right? And uh, you want to know too that uh, that same number right there, and uh, talk about for interest. And um, so it sure seems that way that um, whenever we, you know, I'm like, yeah, you know, whenever it comes to interest, and uh, so every time we think about interest, though. Uh, that are we necessarily thinking about that, uh, yeah, your know, interest, that that's the amount of money that uh, I'm like, you know, yeah, just for borrowing plus uh, the service and all, but, uh, but, you know, a lot of times that when we think about a credit card, though, that, um, that it's another way of stating to where I'm like, oh, yeah, the, the terms of use of the service, uh, but uh, I just really think, too, that, uh, that uh, when we think about the bigger numbers and smaller numbers here, that how often are we really going to hear that to where that, uh, you know, yeah, if uh, if we were to do the typical fraction right here to where if you were, you know, if you were received $9.98, you know, from a friend, and let's just say that, um, you know, dude, if I can just explain this in a type of way right here, but if you received $9.98 from a friend, but uh, let's just say that it was, uh, you know, yeah, the candy bar was $1.99, but then the soda was 5 
So let's just say that, that you know, your change, your pocket change would be right around two ninety nine, wouldn't it? And if we were to you know do the math right here, so let's just say that, that if you were to be doing uh, any sorts of math equations with a friend of yours in one oh two, that uh, you know how much it was for the soda, and then for how much uh, it was that, that 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 you agree on, like oh yeah, you know maybe a bag of pretzels or something like that. So your one oh two that. Uh, that if we were to actually do the calculations right here, and I want to know that, uh, hey, that uh, we do the math right here, and uh, what are the chances are that, that, that your change is going to be two ninety nine from upon the agreement to where that, uh, you know, somebody uh, asks you to buy something for them or to deliver something, and uh, the chances are that, uh, yeah, that, uh, you know, that person is going to go ahead and say that you can go ahead and keep the change. And, uh, so it's like, uh, you want to know, too, that, um, you know, any tips or anything like that, but I just really think that, that, you know, most of the time, though, yeah, most of the time, it seems like it's all about the fact about that, um, when you actually, uh, you know, do the favor, and, um, that's usually what I see, um, so usually, uh, for the most part, that, um, uh, Whenever you do favors for somebody, most of the time that you know, yeah, you know, whenever you do a favor that uh, that you usually see uh, uh, to where that somebody's offering to uh, you know give you uh, a tip or uh, if anything that they're offering to uh, to uh, you know, give you uh, uh, an offering, I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, they're they're willing to uh, to double the offering if you're willing to do a favor for them. So it's like uh, I guess you say that what's another way of how you wanna. This describe an offering to where that, that you know, you're willing to uh, pay them a little bit extra just for doing that favor for you and uh, you know for anything that they're you know, need to take care of so a lot of times it sure seems that way that do you really uh, get that on a credit card and it can also be uh, you know any source of a you know of a of agreement to where that you know yeah somebody uh, ask you to I'm like yeah somebody gives you money to go get them something pick them pick something up for them at the store or maybe if it's anything like that and you want to know too that that you know yeah talk about typical business and a lot and like yeah yeah business investments or something like that but but it sure seems that way that uh, why is it that maybe i see something like that going on more for our credit card than maybe compared to a typical savings account or maybe if you're going to have a, a gift card of some sort and so you're wanting to know too about that just a little bit that um, that uh, you know yeah that uh, whenever it comes to fifty thousand five hundred right here and one oh two that yeah well really that uh, which one is the bigger number right there I'm like well you know for sure you're fifty thousand but but I just really think that uh, whenever it comes to understanding the credit card though that. Uh, if you're going to have, you know, a credit card and that, you know, know about how to manage that credit card, that the key factor of matter is just know that, uh, like everybody else would say too, that, uh, you know, do you uh, actually see a little bit more or less? And let's, I'm like, yeah, let's just say, but talk about for interest and all that. So, so let's just say most uh, companies, uh, and I know uh, we've, we've done the, the calculations here, but uh, most companies say is to work yeah you know up to um, up to three hundred dollars up to three hundred dollars interest so let's just say if we were to use that right there to where that uh, three hundred dollars interest uh, plus on top of uh, you know if there was any late fees or anything like that but I just really think that uh, that yeah you know but between nine uh, ninety eight right there to about maybe you know to a dollar ninety nine and uh, so it sure seems that way that uh, that uh, when we think about that that uh, talk about doing the money differences here is that uh, you know yeah do you see a higher amount whenever you do uh, you know whenever you do a favor for somebody and let's just say that uh, if they go ahead and yeah they give you a twenty so so I let's just say if I put on here that. Um, Right down on here at the bottom, that the, the cash right here, the cash amount is 20. 
So if we were to actually do the math right here, that it would be 20, right? But then uh, let's just say that uh, you know, that, that the item was 998 right there, and so let's just say that your your change would be right around 14 dollars, right? So 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 like if we were to actually do the math right there, and at 102, that uh, yeah, well really that uh, you know uh, doing the typical fractions right here, that uh, what does that usually mean? Uh, Whenever you do, uh, you receive uh, an equal amount where that you know, you did not you know receive uh, just receive twenty percent on top of uh, you know yeah you know like yeah. So if we were to actually do the math right here, that how much would that be if your change was fourteen dollars? And would that be twenty percent, or would that only be you know ten percent or so? So so a lot of times it seems like that most of the time. That, uh, you know, yeah, if your kids uh, or anybody, if you if you got if you got what you wanted, then chances are, are you really going to just are you really going to pay attention to or how much that uh, that you were paid equally between, you know, my kid between, uh, you know, the agreement. And uh, so, so a lot of times it's like, uh, do you really see that a lot of times on a credit card or if anything, you know, even if it's cash on hand and uh so the way we think about that, though, is like talk about for fifty thousand dollars right here, and one oh two that uh, the way we handle a credit card a lot of times, it sure seems that way. That yeah, well you handle a credit card, and uh, it sure seems that way that uh, that uh, you know you go ahead and pay with my like, uh, yeah. So it's like if you're, if you're going to have a credit card a lot of times, and you one oh two that your know, money that's on there and. But uh, let's just say maybe, if, but if it's not on it, but 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 still that um, that uh, the way we think about that, doing the math right here, that uh, talk about for fifty thousand dollars right here, that uh, when we do the math right here, that uh, we actually see that that you know yeah for which number is bigger and for which number is smaller, right? And it's like say yeah yeah well with with fifty thousand dollars right here, and uh, that's why it sure seems that way that. Uh, that uh, you know, you would uh, make a, a deposit first before you go go ahead and start, uh, you know, negotiating with with, with uh, how much money that uh, that's coming in and coming out, and when was the last credit card payment? So, so, so a lot of times it sure seems that way. That um, that uh, whenever it comes to understanding about credit cards, though, and like with three hundred dollars interest right here, so it's like if we were to use to. Three months right here, so all together, that, that that would be about 90 days, wouldn't it? And doing doing a typical study. So a lot of times, it's like people are going to maybe say that, you know, do you think that you'll be able to handle that? To where that, uh, you know, uh, most of the time with most credit cards, though, that the way you handle them is that you go ahead and make payments, but then what about, uh, you know, the, the terms of use of the service? So let's just say that... Um, you know, if you sign up for auto uh, pay or something like that, and you would see something like that toward it, you know, you would uh, maybe be, uh, you know, it might be guaranteed that, you know, you would be able to borrow a little bit more if you're willing to stay on that, that same uh, credit card that you plan for at least a year. So let's just say if you're going to be uh, with them, you know, if you're going to have a credit card, let's just say if you're going to be handling it for at least a year or maybe two years or something like that, do you think that the credit cards, your credit card company would allow it to where you'll be able to borrow a little bit more, you know, after after it's you know, paid off? And uh, so, like everybody else would say too, that you know, yeah, well, sixteen pennies, so uh, that uh, you know, sixteen penny, uh, sixteen thousand, sixteen thousand pennies, sixteen thousand pennies is about how you know much it costs you know, just to be able to get. The last big amount paid off and uh, so it's like people might say that you know really how do you how long do you think it would take you to collect 16,000 pennies I'm um, like that seems like it will take five months to be able to collect that if you really put in a lot of hard work didn't it and um, so it sure seems that way like everybody else would say too that um, what is the best way of how to describe uh, hard work and uh, and it sure seems that way that uh, the way ways of how you want to explain hard work you can look at that as another way of how do you want to cause like you know, the amount of detail that you put into something and so let's just say 
if you just explain something like on paper or maybe if you just start talking about something and, and if it makes a lot more sense now and uh, so it sure seems that way that uh that yeah you know uh whenever something whenever we talk about hard work though uh, that it seems like that to where that uh you know, you work until you get tired you know that's the type of hard work that i'm sure most of us can probably describe is that you know, you work hard enough until you get tired and then and then you take a about a two or three hour break and then you come back to your what you were working on and uh, talk about for hard work right but let's just say that if it could be better explained uh, just by is as to where if you were to just come up with the with a few of the math digits and like uh people might say is to where that yeah you know this right here looks like a few notes or some sort but but let's just say if we're talking about for one hundred dollars right here with uh, 75 cents so it sure seems that way that when we talk about a credit card though that um are we necessarily thinking about you know people might say that you're the big troublemaker or if you want to kind of call it to where that, you know, well, really, that uh, when uh, we talk about a credit card, though, it's another it's another way uh, of how to uh, use your money, you know, use your thinking skills and use your money, and then also uh, understanding about the, you know, the interest rates and everything, and also about, uh, you know, percentage rates. And so it's like, uh, if we would actually do the math right here, and at 102, that, uh, you know, yeah, well, really, that um, that maybe, th would this be the type of question that maybe that most insurance companies will be uh, talking to you about, such as, as to where, that, that, you know, if you were paid a certain amount through your insurance, based on any source of settlement or something like that, or maybe if it's anything about, uh, you know, yeah, you know, claims, I mean, if it's like, maybe, uh, you know, money paid to you from a client, you buy a claim or something like that, or anything about your know, retirement or your know, pension amount or something like that. So, so a lot of times we want to know too that um, that when we talk about bigger and smaller numbers, that are uh, we necessarily thinking about a paycheck? Are we necessarily thinking about is to where that uh, this is right here is supposed to be like a, some source of ID, like a cash ID, such as. That, uh, you know, yeah, you go ahead and put that, uh, claim that to be the amount, you know, that you, uh, yeah, you know, like, especially on your tax return, that, that that's the amount of money that, uh, that, that that's paid to you, like, you know, from a, from a tax credit or something like that. But on the other hand, that, that when we speak about credit cards, though, that, uh, you know, do we necessarily see uh, more, you know, coming to us that we are, we're allowed to use based on, uh, what were approved and uh, so it's like when we think about a credit card a lot of times that are we necessarily thinking about that uh okay you apply for you wait to get approved a credit card right but is that really supposed to be about your privilege to allow you to where you can go out and shop and you where you can save and where you have that ability now to where you can go and use that money you know just to be able to shop and buy stuff and and to be able to earn points and all that. And so it sure seems that way that, uh, you know, if, if that's the reason why you do get a, you know, apply and to get approved a credit card, then maybe that would maybe be for more likely for business reasons, wouldn't it? It would not really be just like what's called standard shipping, you know, credit card or something like that. Or, you know, for anything, you say that, yeah, well, there is a difference between a, a personal made credit card or maybe compared to a business credit card. But on the other hand, that, that uh, when we're talking about understanding about a credit card, though, we're talking about um, working with something that's maybe twice the size of the typical times table, the you know, typical multiplication table for what you learned in the fifth grade. And you're probably thinking, too, that, uh, that the, the highest amount that you've probably seen was at least $150. But now we're talking about maybe up to fifty thousand dollars, and so you know, a lot of times it's like when well, you actually do the math right here, and at U one hundred two, that you know, is your savings really going to grow, or you know, is it going to decrease, or is it going to expand at a period of time? So the way a lot of ways when we think about that though, and at U one hundred two, that uh, that when we think about a credit card though. That uh, are we necessarily thinking about is to where that uh, more ability and then, uh, of course, uh, your understanding about uh, 
how it all works or are we talking about the fact about that that you know, yeah well you know uh, whenever you if you're going to have a credit card or if you're going to have some source a card to allow it to where that money comes in and out and uh, but you know still so what what have you really learned from the whole for basics but and uh and I uh, I actually uh, think that uh, like we probably thinking too, we probably have gotten our experience most of the time with either if it's investing for a home or buying a car, right? And uh, you know you know for sure that uh, when we talk about money matters right here, that uh, you know you want to know too that uh, you know how much is sixteen thousand pennies, you know equal compared to. Uh, you know, if you were to try to save up your money to where if you can equal it up to fifty thousand dollars, so we can maybe ask that question to where that, that you know, yeah, sixteen thousand pennies right there. But I'm likely one oh two. If I if I were to do the math though, uh, ten thousand will be about a hundred dollars, right? So so it would be like I think it would be like yeah, one oh six. So um, so if we're talking about uh, for sixteen thousand pennies. Wouldn't that be about, you know, just $106 right there? Just a little over $100. So, uh, you know, that, which that right there, like everybody else would say too, that uh, if that's true, that, that that's about how much it's equal to. So that would probably fill up about, you know, six uh, piggy banks. So if that's true right there, that uh, 16,000 um, pennies will fill up about six uh, piggy banks. So if we were to use that on average, though, in 102, that hey, that uh, you know, uh, you know, that that will equal to a little over a uh, hundred dollars right there. If you've done the math, and a U102, that uh, you know, yeah, that uh, you know, have we really saved? Our money, you know, as much as to where that uh, we were able to actually fill up our piggy banks, and you want to know too that uh, you know if that's really uh, the best way of how to save your money is to where you go ahead and fill up, you know, you go ahead and fill up your savings until uh, that you know that uh, piggy bank or you know that cash bank you know gets uh, full until it starts getting heavier and heavier and and but you know, you probably want to know too that for the most part, if we're talking about a credit card though. Uh, we're not talking about that uh, a card that to where you can actually you can tell how much is in there because uh, you know that card is not going to be uh, you know ten pounds or so that you know that's a card right there. So the one way you'll be able to tell is just by you know like you'll come like yeah like everybody else has say available electronically. One way you can tell is just by you know sign it you know to your account and then actually call, call, call in the number. So, so like yeah so. So nowadays, it sure seems that way that uh, that uh, using an actual card, using an actual cash card, though, and uh, you want to know too that um, that uh, everything seems to be quite different than compared to an actual piggy bank, even though if it's supposed to be similar, right? And uh, so you want to know too uh, that if it's not really about the fact about maybe scaling. Uh, the amount, but then also that, uh, you know, whenever you're going to be looking at that credit card, though, that uh, you probably want to know, too, that uh, if you're going to have a credit card or any source of savings, though, that, you know, do you think it's best to go ahead and think about is to where that, uh, you know, what uh, you can do, you know, just to be able to, to be open-minded about what cash awards are available and what points they're available, and also just understanding about my go, yeah. So it's like, uh, so like everybody else would say too that um, that uh, when we speak about a credit card, a lot of times it sure seems that way. That uh, the first thing that comes to your mind, of course, is going to be interest. And like I say, that you know, yeah, a lot of credit card payments, you know, like some of them are quite a bit harder to handle than compared to other kinds. Of so, but but a lot of times it sure seems that way. That uh, when we talk about the bigger numbers on top of the smaller numbers right here, and you want to know too that um, that uh, that right there, like you were talking about between one nine nine that you know, dot ninety eight point point ninety eight you know, between 
two ninety nine right there. So at the time you want to know too that uh, you know which number is bigger and smaller right there. And you have right here for nine ninety eight right there. But people might even want to know too that uh, yeah, but you know this number right here. One of them is bigger, and one of them is smaller, right? And so you want to know, too, that, uh, that why is it that you just cannot take the 99 right there? Take the 99 right there, but then the 98 right there, you know, you take a penny off. You know, why can't you just count that as, like, the decimal uh, fraction? Or, like, you know, talk about between bigger and smaller numbers, right? And, likely you want to know, too, that, you know, about how much does 9 go into 2, and, you know, how much, I'm like, yeah, well, how much does 9 go into 7? I'm like, well, really, that, come on now, that, um, you know, cannot really be divided or, you know, subtracted, you know, from an equal amount of number. And, uh, so it's likely 102, that the one of them is a bigger number and one of them is a smaller number, right? So it seems like to me, though, that, um, when we talk about that, um, uh, numbers here, that uh, are we thinking about is this tour that are we breaking down the numbers or are we uh, necessarily just moving them around and uh, as we all know that whenever you count that amount of money you're moving that around and actually count it right you're not spending it so a lot of times it sure seems that way that when we think about you know a credit card though uh, that you know do you think that maybe that we would be yet uh, you know, just Thinking about it, is try to move in the money around just to count it rather than to be spending it. But you know, there are some companies that say that you know, well, really, you have to spend the money, you know, just to be able to uh, use uh, you know those values and all, like you know, you just to be able to calculate, you know, to, to be able to earn the points and all that. But um, but half the time, I do want to know too. The way we think about most of the time with credit cards, though, that um, most of the time with credit cards, though. That uh, if it's really what you call like the gotcha situation to where that uh, you're supposed to spend, uh, you know, if you're going to be using a credit card to shop anywhere in the inventory, like on a lot of those sites, though, and let's just say, though, that uh, if you have a coupon, but then that coupon may only apply to where if you spend 10% uh, or more or maybe up to 30 or more on uh, your purchases. So a lot of times it sure seems that way. That you want to ask the question to where that you would think the 99 will be bigger than compared to the 98. So let's just say that um, that the coupon only applies to the amount that says 998 right there than compared to the 999. You want to know too that you know does that really make any sense whenever it comes to the sales price and you know, like or if like you know, yeah anything about what's called the offering and. Uh, so that that's something to think about is just where the bigger and the smaller numbers and then just understanding about the basic math though and uh so like I say is to where we're really that um that um if we were talk about you know, with the twenty right here and uh so like, anybody say that you know come on now, why can't you just start out with twenty and leave it at that you know these numbers right here are smaller, they're all smaller you know why do you want to use those but Still, that uh, when we talk about 20 right here, and likely you only buy 102, that that seems like that, uh, you know, do you have to make a bigger deposit before that you can even, did you even have access to a few of those other numbers right there? <laughs> 102, the upon the agreement that uh, the deposit is $20, but then it, you know, it shows on here it's 998 right there. And why is it that maybe some credit cards are going to do that? And like I say, well, according to the terms that I use, you know, we don't count that three cents as an equal amount to word it for how much was deposited. And it, it, that's just the way of how the account works. But uh, the way I think about it too, though, that they're doing it, the math, you know, rounding to the nearest tenths or, you know, <laughs> how you calculate it that, uh, you want to know too that uh, just knowing about it's like for fifty thousand dollars based on for what you experience though. Want to know too is to where that uh, yeah if it's really all biased to where then you choose and fair but um, the way I think about it too is to where that yeah just learn something about your know, typical credit card right. Typical credit card is to where about up to fifty thousand five hundred but 
Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day.